gave the ranch to me. I will raise a fine horse and win recognition from the great Ganondorf. Say, young man, do you want to ride one of my fine horses? Pay me ten rupees and you can ride. Do you want to hear how to ride? I'm not going to listen because I already know. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, with how this works, you have to choose a horse. Now, you can choose the horse beside you, but that's not going to do crap for you. So, let's play a Pana song. Remember, as a kid, that brought a Pana to you. Well, if you play a Pana song, she comes rushing to you. Okay, now... Use this time to get back the rupees that you, um... Paid Inga. Oh, wait. Okay, jumping over the fences is supposed to give you five rupees. There we go. Okay, then do it one more time to get the other five. Okay, now you talk to Ingo. When you want to dismount, stop and press A. Hey, I mean, it's about to see you somewhere for a few. Um. Let's go back one more time. I think you have to talk to him again. Either that, or you have to actually finish. Talk, talk to him. Yeah, you have to quick guess I'm done and do it again. No, I don't want to listen. Yeah, let's. Now I have to do it again. Except this time, instead of saying that you want to stop... Yeah, instead of saying you want to stop, he'll ask you if you want to race him for the horse. Or he should. Oh boy. Yeah, you, you pay him 10 rupees to do this, and basically get your 10 rupees back. <laughs> yeah, 50 rupees to race him. Which pretty much means win. Just stating the obvious, it's not hard to win. Da, da, da. Yeah, once you get that little tight corner out of the way at the start, pretty much got it. She used. If the great Ganondorf found out about this humiliation, hey, you help out another race. If you win, you can keep the horse. So, we race again. And it's actually not different. Oh, except he's in the lead now. Okay, now I'm in the lead. I should be in the lead. Yeah, I'm in the lead. Okay, yeah, uh, like I said, it's not that hard to win. And yep, I won. Okay. What's up with that horse? Is that?
that a fauna? How did you tame that wild horse right under my nose? I was going to present that horse to the great Ganondorf, but I bet it on the raisin law, shoot! <laughs> As I promised, I'll give you the horse to you. However, I'll never let you leave this ranch. And then, he closes the gates. That is the only exit that we know of. Now. But, uh, I didn't mean to do that. And it won't let me, um, basically at the side of the ranch there's these gates. And if you, um, go over them, you get out of the ranch. But I like doing it over this gate because it's, <laughs> it's just funny. Never mind, it won't let me do it. But yeah, you can go over that gate and be like, Hey, Ingo, I got over your gate. What now? <sighs> yes, let's go over this one. And jump out of the ranch. Da, 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 da. You can watch that cutscene over and over and over. Wrong way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now in the future, there are big poses that are all over Hyrule Field. I mean, just all over it. And if you collect ten of them, you get an extra bottle. Yeah. Really good for holding fairies. But now that we got our faster speed of travel now, let's go to Kakariko and get ourselves that thing Sheik was talking about. And then we'll start doing things a little out of order. <laughs> and you'll see what I mean when it when um we get there. All right, Kekariko Village. <laughs> yes. There's not much to do. Well, actually, there is something. We can learn my favorite song in this entire game. This is the windmill guy. This is the windmill guy. He was kind of angry. Grrr. I'll never forget what happened on that day seven years ago. Grrr. It's all that Ocarina kid's fault. Next time he comes around here, I'm gonna mess him up. Well, I got an Ocarina. What? You've got an Ocarina? What the heck? That reminds me of that time seven years ago. Back when a mean kid came here and played a strange song, it messed up this windmill. I'll never forget this song. This is my favorite song in the game because it's the catchiest tune you will ever hear. You've learned the song of storms. And it causes rain. Oh no! A storm again! You played the ocarina again, didn't you? Grrr. And it causes the windmill to spin really fast. Okay, so. We leave, and then we go, and we go into the graveyard.
Because that's where we were technically supposed to go. Okay. That's a Poe, and I don't really feel like messing with it. So we pull back this grave. And enter a big hole. Hey look, it's damn big. Hey, <laughs> young man, are you fast on your feet? I may not look like it, but I'm confident in my speed. Let's have a race. Follow me if you dare. So yeah, if you remember Dampy and that grave digging game that he did where there was supposed to be a heart piece and it totally didn't give it to me because the game hates me. Well, Dampy's dead now. 